Moved everything. This is technique. This is why you train, Chandler. So I filmed a Porsche spec commercial, and this is how it turned out. Creativity needs to breathe. Its oxygen is inspiration. For me, it's my atmosphere. What I surround myself with abstract in nature, yet dynamically detailed. Breathe to enter a creative space, then others can't help but notice. What's up y'all, so it's Justin Romine here. Welcome back to the channel today. What we are filming is a Porsche spec commercial. Yes, I did say spec commercial. I am not getting paid for this, but I do have my partners at Park Place dealerships to thank for this because they are having me in a Porsche Cayenne coupe for the next two months. So I've had the experience of using this car and using it as my daily driver. So today we are at this downtown loft location. This is actually the penthouse suite. It's not furnished, but we are gonna film some of the scenes here. My boy Tyler is an awesome painter and uh, an Instagram, what do we call them, influencers? And so he's helping us out with this Porsche spec commercial and he's gonna do a great job being our subject for this commercial. Uh, this commercial is kind of centered around creativity versus breathing. A lot of us creatives see creativity just as that. It's breathing. It's so natural for us. We have to do it to live. Uh, so that's what we're kind of relating this Porsche spec ad to is the creative process, breathing, attention to details, uh, and Porsche, the Porsche Cayenne Coupe like just emanates with all of those creativity and those details. So I hope you all enjoy this. Take a look at the behind the scenes. There it goes, there it, it should stop. I told it to stop. Hey, look at that. Uh, driving up to, what did he say, the, the eighth floor? I don't think, yeah, we're not gonna get anywhere. Is there? Backing her up, this is highly illegal, I'm sure. Here we go, watch the beam. So, Kostas, he's my, actually, he was there for the shoot. He owns Opa, Greek, Greek Tavern. He was the, the Greek guy. He was the Greek guy that was doing all the, the vlogging. He had his camera out and he was like, yeah, we're here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's that guy. He was kind of like, like white, like pale, white, darker hair. Yeah, younger. he's about like maybe two years older than me, something like that, I don't know. How old are you, Kostas? Um, Interesting. They have random, one random oh, dryer. They're still, they're probably installing stuff because they said someone's moving in soon. Holy cow. I mean, it for real looks like a movie was like shot here. It's cool, right? Yeah. Like we could get you coming down these stairs right here and like wrapping around, like reference frame. That would be like for a morning. Look at that. How similar is that? Yeah. Like if we do this and then kick it on one, see what I'm saying? And we'll oh, and then shimmy, shimmy it over it? to the bathroom or something. Yeah, I mean we can go that way because I don't see us do shooting that way. So Please. as long as we get it out of this corner, <laughs> moved everything. <sighs> this is technique. This is why you train, Chandler. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what we're doing right now is 
We are setting the stage up here for Tyler and his painting. So this is an empty loft. This is the penthouse loft at um, this place in downtown Dallas. And so there's nothing that's here. There's no furniture. It's not furnished at all. So we're having to set everything up. So we got, we had him bring up this fig plant, uh, fig tree, fig tree, right? Fig tree plant. And we're having to bring his easel and his paints. We basically need to make this look like, hey, this is like this section of his loft that he comes to paint and like check out and breathe creatively. All right, so right now what we're doing is we're getting some brush strokes of Tyler painting. And this is a painting he already has going. You can see it's like, it's been worked on quite a bit already. Lots of hours I'm sure have gone into this. We're trying to get some long brush strokes that will actually serve really well to highlight the Porsche Cayenne's like lines and interior and all that. Much like us, creativity needs to breathe. So right now we are capturing the voiceover portion for this uh, Porsche spec ad that we're doing. And it's a kind of a four to five liner that uh, I actually did collab with Tyler. I told him to send me four to five different lines that kind of explain his creative process, like what he thinks about. Now we're gonna do some voiceover and this is our makeshift little sound booth. Boom, it already sounds better. It's so, so top. Do a little test. Yeah, sounds test good, right? Mic test, drop it. Mic test, mic test. Yeah, it cuts off that bounce. It cuts off the bounce, see? Yeah. Sound room. <laughs> yeah. You do that with your best Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, lick your lips a little bit, see, so yeah. There you go. Yeah, a little. <laughs> <laughs> What it's not good. Whatever that little whistle is that he does. <laughs> <laughs> like, pretend you wrote these lines and just like relate to them and oh. just like creativity needs to breathe. Right. Whatever. Right. <laughs> it's oxygen is inspiration. Is that what the line is? Yeah. Are you getting this? Dude. Dude, this is it right here. Yes. Look right. at this. I like it. So as you see here, we have the Komodo all wrapped up in this little plastic bag. That's because in Dallas, it just started raining. Uh, we did not see this coming. Actually, we kind of did, but uh, didn't think it would actually happen. But we're gonna get a shot of him. Tyler gets a lot of inspiration from uh, his environment. He actually described to me one shot that he got that he's integrating into the painting that we were just filming, and that's like this alleyway shot. And so we're gonna go film that. We're gonna film him actually taking a photo of that alleyway as if he's walking down the street, because that's literally how it happened, like, right? Yep. You were just walking through and you saw it and you saw you gained inspiration the, from it. The rugged terrain of downtown. Yeah. Yeah. So get a little architectural layer in the painting. So it'll be super cool. So yeah. we have to get the shot, it's raining. I don't want to risk the Komodo, so let's go. Woo! That was wet, yeah. Well, it went good. Uh, unveiling the Komodo here. Barely any water. Now, your Canon R6, on the other hand, a little bit wet, but we're, we're praying that Deity and the R6 uh, withstand, withstood the uh, rain terrain, but the rain actually played to our favor because the shots came out so good, so cinematic, and it's like real. It's not like we're making this up. This is what Tyler actually like does. So uh, just trying to get as many shots of him getting inspiration and showing that inspiration and relating that back to the Porsche Cayenne. That's it. We're just waiting on vehicles. It's hot. 
Yeah. I'm sweating. Yeah, all, right, yeah. all right, so fast forward maybe a week, two, maybe three weeks later, uh, and we're out here. We just uh, filmed all of the lifestyle portion with Tyler Story. Big shout out to Tyler Story. Thank you so much for uh, being creative and being a painter and being a part of our Porsche spec ad. Uh, now, what would a car commercial be unless you have a car uh, mount to film the car driving? Nobody wants to see a car just parked. They wanna see what it does and how it performs. So we're gonna try to get some really sexy shots of the Porsche Cayenne Coupe 2021 with this Tilta Max uh, Hydra Alien. This is a new car mount that they just came out with. I believe they're on back order right now. If they're, if they're not, that's pretty amazing because these are, this is a really good product. Um, everything comes with the setup here, aside from my V-mount batteries, the Komodo, and the DJI Ronin S2, but everything else you see, like the hydraulic arm, um, does come with it. These are actually dog cables. The vibration isolator that comes with it is not the best in the world. Uh, it's, it's really stiff. So there's a couple uh, tutorials that were posted on a Facebook group uh, that showed, oh, you can build your own. These are actually ground wire cables that you can buy from Home Depot. So I literally just took off the old vibration isolators and you screw these in and then it serves as, you know, a little more, it can handle a little bit heavier weight. The big thing with this is we have the Komodo on here. We have a 35 millimeter Sigma art lens ND filter because it's going to be really bright. Uh, but we're going to capture some really cool tree shots of, of the Cayenne driving and maneuvering through this country road that we found out here in basically like Northeast Dallas, but we're creating a montage spec ad. So we want to try to film the Cayenne in as many different environments as possible so that we have the most to work with in editing. So let's take it for a spin. now we're loosening this all up, uh, trying to figure out the most efficient way to get it in the car. Here, that's perfect. Efficient way to get in the car for a quick setup when we're in downtown. Is that safe? That looks pretty safe, right? That looks pretty safe, yeah. Ish. We're heading to downtown now. Yep. We don't know where we're gonna go, but we're gonna get some golden hour. Luckily, there's probably not going to be traffic going from here to downtown because everybody's going from downtown to here. Right. So. Well, knock on wood. Yeah, we hope so. No wrecks or anything. Super dope. All right, let's go to downtown. So what's cool about this mount is you, these suction cups are extremely good. Like you put it on there and it feels like it's a part of the vehicle. I love the fact that this car mount can be so quickly adjusted to different locations on the car and to all sorts of vehicles. Like this thing is so customizable, it's ridiculous. You can basically create a follow car out of any vehicle, which is crazy. Well, that's pretty much all the behind the scenes of how we film this Porsche spec ad. Uh, this has been a really cool experience to do this. It's probably one of my best commercials I've filmed to date, uh, and I can't wait to uh, do more commercials like this. The Tilta Hydra Alien, it's a really critical part. It's how this commercial even came together uh, and we were able to produce some of these shots. I like it because it's super customizable. It's very high quality and I can trust that the car mount is not gonna slip off or anything. Have had zero issues with that. Uh, I also like that I'm able to use the Komodo with it with my, my customized vibration isolator. And I also like the price. I believe right now it's priced at $12.99. That is a extremely good price for the prosumer market. So excited for uh, to see where Tilta goes with this product and what they come out with in the future. It's gonna be super exciting. And I just realized that as I'm editing this YouTube video, I never talked about that girl 
that's driving the Porsche through those like country roads in that forest like park area. Here's a little backstory to what that was. That is actually my wife, Jamie. All of those shots were not actually planned on being in this Porsche spec ad, but the reason why I included them was because we actually went to Broken Bow and we took the Porsche Cayenne Coupe and there were some really cool shots that I captured of the Porsche Cayenne. I did it with the intention of I'm going to create this lifestyle real estate tour. Uh, that video is actually going to be posted on my channel here shortly, how to film real estate. Some of the shots came out so good and it actually turned out to add a whole nother dimension to this Porsche spec ad. The idea was to relate the different types of environments that yield different inspirations. Some people really love the city ambiance, whereas others may like the foresty nature ambiance. And all this footage really came together into making it feel like this montage ad that I was trying to create. So it actually worked in my favor. Uh, thought it came together really well and that's pretty much it. Well, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this style of video, let me know as well. I love doing these behind the scenes. So if you want to see more content like this, please let me know. Until next time, we will catch you filmmakers in the next video. Mm -hmm.